while since I've uh, done a video. So this morning I'm uh, hoping to get uh, how we uh, split apart our load. I've been uh, pretty busy doing what I'm doing. It's kind of really keeps me busy. And therefore, uh, I don't really have a whole lot of time to make any videos anymore. But uh, hopefully this morning, Saturday, I'll, uh, I'll get a couple of videos and hopefully I'll get to split from the trailer apart. And uh, maybe even load the uh, Apache 240. Alright. So, first, before we do anything, I gotta uh, engage the PTO on this truck. So, to do that, we'll put our, uh, put our clutch in. We'll go down here. We'll engage our PTO. And uh, get the uh, fluid to run. And then on this truck, we gotta increase the. Uh, the engine RPM to be able to uh, get the fluid running. So let me get out of the truck. We come back to our controls. <clears throat> and how this one works is that uh, we got two levers here, two uh, hydraulic levers. This one here controls this arm right here, which lays down on top of the, uh, the chassis on the rear of the truck to hold the gooseneck up. This arm here So first of all what we gotta do is we gotta uh, lift up the gooseneck so I'll use this and we'll lift it up there you see how it's coming off then we'll hit this switch right this air control switch right here Then I take this one again, and then I lower the gooseneck down to the ground, or the uh, trailer down to the ground, I should say. Just like that. You can see it laying on the ground now. Then <clears throat> what we do is we take this arm again, we'll, go, we'll lay it on the suspension here. Play that. Actually, we'll uh, take it up a little bit first. I'm not down far enough on the gooseneck. There we go. I had to uh, lower it down some more so we can get this here, get some space here off these tabs, because this is actually what holds the gooseneck or the uh, the trailer off the ground with the gooseneck. So now we'll lower the uh, this uh, arm so we take the weight. See the weight going down there. Good. Now, we'll come back up here onto the trailer. We'll remove this pin. Take that pin out. And now this here is a pin that goes down inside the trailer. It's like your kingpin on your uh, on a normal trailer. What I'll do is I'll hit the ear switch again. This will come up and then everything is released. All I got to do then is just drive away. So let's do that. So now we hit the other switch. To release, so I'm going to push down on this, and when I do that, you'll see this pin pop up. You see that? I'll do it again. Do it again. Then we'll go back down, and then I'll uh, get it to pop back up. Sometimes you got to give it a little bit of persuasion. So I'll hit that. I'll hit this switch again, the red one, and you'll see that pop up. Now what it is did what it's done is in here there's a pin that goes down there that's the pin that I popped up which goes down into a slot there so that's done so now what I would do is I would disconnect my ear lines and my uh, electrical line and I drive out reverse order I'm not going to do it the reverse order would be to back back in again over your the slip pair I'd uh, once I'm in there, I pop this one again, which pops the pin, which needs a little bit of encouragement sometimes. We'll wait till all the air drains out, so you can see that dropping down there, which puts the pin back inside the trailer. We'll put our safety pin in, just like that, and then 
we'll use this lever here again. We'll lift up on the, uh, the leg here. And then we'll use this lever here and we'll lift up on the trailer itself. There we go. You'll see it lifting off the ground. We'll get up so high. We're up. I'll hit this lever here to release the legs. So I'll hit that. You'll see the legs coming down, getting into place. I'll use this lever here again. I'll push up to lower it down. And you'll see it sitting on the resting on the legs. And that's it. That's how to remove, or that's how to separate the trailer. So I'll give you a better look at the trailer. Like that. 